What's different about our technology is that it works with regular letter size office paper. So it's very low cost to run. Office paper? Yes. What do you mean? Paper. Like, how do you turn office paper into 3D objects? That's the secret sauce. <laughs> this is Renato Zarbello for InnoMind.org. Today we are at Jacob Javits Center and it's inside 3D printing. Why is it inside? I have no idea. It used to be outside, now all of a sudden it had to be inside. And we are here uh, talking to Deidre who is from Ireland, uh, near Dublin, and they have a solution, a printer which prints in full color. I've never seen something like this, and here is Deidre. Hi, Deidre. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you. I was wondering if you can tell me a little brief, uh, you know, about the company, how long this technology existed uh, from your company, and where are you heading with this? Sure. We're an Irish company. We're based, as you said, out of Ireland, uh, set up in 2005. Um, we have developed a technology that we believe will revolutionize the way people will design and innovate in the future. Our technology, we've got two products. Mm -hmm. uh, one product is called the Matrix 300 Plus, the other is called the MCOR Iris, recently released. But what's different about our technology is that it works with regular letter size office paper. So it's very low cost to run. Office paper? Yes. What do you mean? Paper. Like, how do you turn office paper into 3D objects? That's the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> is it like paper mache kind of no, thing? No, it's not. It's done on a sheet by sheet basis. So each sheet is fed into the machine one at a time. Mm -hmm. And inside the machine, there's a multi function head. One side of it uh, will cut the profile, the 2D profile. Yeah. And the other side of it will apply selectively a water based adhesive. So that way we build up the, the 3D model one layer at a time. So in other words, the model itself is basically paper. It's all paper with stuck together with a water-based adhesive. So it's a very eco-friendly solution also. Now, the, uh, I take it it's only uh, mostly for visual as well as prototyping. You can't really use it as a product in terms of, you know, something a competitor like a maker, maker bot using ABS or PLA. Well, we do have functionality. We've primarily focused on form and fit, and it is for prototyping. Mm -hmm. But you will see some things in our cabinet here that actually can be used. Like we, we print out bottle opener, and once the bottle opener is coated when it comes out of the machine, you can actually use it to open a bottle. So it's fun. Coated with? Uh, we have different coatings that we use, some water-based ones. Uh, if you want to harden and toughen the, the, actually the, the paper, uh -huh. it absorbs all these uh, different coatings very well. So in other words, it's, it's basically lacquering yes, the, the exactly, outside, the finish. Exactly. Right, right, I see. Yeah. So you can get lots of different finishes. You can also cast our parts, so you can create a metal casting out of the paper. I see, I see functionality for artists. Uh, yes, because we, uh, of, you know, yeah. using paper. You know. Yeah, we have a, we have a architects and artists really like our technology because the paper is eco-friendly, it's very tactile, it has a nice finish, surface finish. Mm -hmm. Each layer is only point one of a millimeter, mm -hmm. so that means that we get a nice surface finish on our parts. So, and as we said, we can finish them, you can sand them, you can tap them, you can coat them, so right. lots and of different And it's full, options. Co full color, just like any print? Yes, yes. Well, it's a, this machine that you'll see here today is the MCOR Iris, it's our most recently launch machine, it's full colour, so it's a two-step process. Uh, we apply ink to the pages before they're fed into the machine and this produces full colour. So uh, we use, we have an MCOR ink mm -hmm. that we use in the, in the machine and the MCOR ink uh, permeates the page bottom down, um, uh, top down, bottom up, so we get full penetration. Uh, that means that you can print anything even with side walls or underhangs, so you get full colour and you also get, with air technology, uh, you get very good a consistency of color. So what you is see it on the screen is what you get on your print. I see. Uh, in terms of color collaboration, right. Now, um, how long does it take to print, let's say, a head like this? Uh, yeah, it's in the hours. What we do, uh, what we say is with our technology, it all depends on the geometry of what you're printing. Mm -hmm. And we can print with two different thicknesses of paper. You can print with 80 GSM, which is basically uh, what you would normally use in your 2D printer, or you yeah. can print with a slightly uh, thicker thickness of paper, 160, and it you can print in half the time, basically. So, um, as I said, most of the objects here in the cabinet would be in the hours. So uh, I how can many just hours give you, would you say this? I don't have one for that, but we have. Uh, we actually have a little engine there on the bottom there that's around about seven hours. So, but you can build, yeah. So you can build multiple parts in the one build. So you don't, you know, you don't have to bring, build a single one. So you can obviously get a lot of efficiency if you build more than one at a time. So, yeah. Now my next question is, how many units do you have different models? 
we just have two, two different types of machines. We have and how much are they approximately? This machine here is around about $47,000. But our big selling point for our technology is that it's very low cost to run. So once you get the equipment in, you, you purchase the equipment, it can be up to five to 20 times cheaper to produce parts on the machine. I see. And do you use off-the-shelf printing uh, in cartridges or something like that? Or do you actually sell your no, own cartridges? sell our own because it's Amcor Inc. So that they're and how expensive are they in terms of you know implementing that inside your printer? Yeah, it's... Um, they're, they're still, it's all, our whole running, our whole uh, ethos with the company is that, that we want to, to provide something that's very low cost. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, pr you provide the paper yourself, you just have to come back to us for the actual, the, the blades, which was used in the machine, and the water-based adhesive and the ink. So it's Blades for cutting something? For cutting, yeah. It does the cutting feature. We use a tungsten carbide blade for cutting, for cutting the actual profile in the machine. So. I see what you're saying. All right, is there anything else you want to tell where you see your, your company uh, say five, ten years from now. The vision for MCOR is to be market leader in low cost, high quality, full color 3D printing. And we believe we have the solution to reach all audiences and verticals, including the consumer, because we use regular office paper. And um, yeah, we believe that we have something very different to offer than what's on the market at the moment. So check it out.